Hola, ¿cómo están? Quería aclarar algo antes del video. En el 2004, Cardiel, en un tour en Australia, filmando para Antigiro el video Ten City, sufrió un accidente automovilístico que un tráiler le pisó la espalda, dejándolo prácticamente paralítico. Le dijeron que no iba a caminar más. Y después de un año de rehabilitación y silla de rueda, él volvió a caminar. Volvió a andar en skate muy poco, porque le quedó un tobillo prácticamente sin movilidad, pero se volcó a darle con toda la bicicleta. Así que bueno, espero que disfruten mucho del video. Gracias. Good to see you again. Welcome back to the letters. Season 8. Julian brought down a box of old Super 8 tapes and what have you. GX 52000s. And uh, we're going to go through it and find some footage that you probably haven't seen, some footage that you have seen, and we're going to talk to the, uh, the anti-hero team and get a vision of John that maybe you uh, haven't seen before. John Cardio, he's an inspiration as a person. And after his injury, he inspired me even more. They told him he'd never walk again. He told them, I'm walking out of here, fucker. You don't know me. The history of John, what, what John did for skateboarding will never be denied and it will never be duplicated. He is the original gnarly mother fucking dude. Period. The end. Tobin had shot a photo of him that was in a Dogtown ad and it was like just some super tweak trick and and I was like looking at the mag and I saw the photo and I, I think I called bail on it. And Tobin was like, nope, dude, I took that photo. It's not a bail. I'm like, come on, dude, I'm like fucking bail. And it was John. And um, he's like, nope. And I was like, well, fuck, dude, I got to skate with this guy. I was always drawn to him because I think I'm drawn to people that when they skate, they scare me. He's, he'll scare you. It's terrifying sometimes to watch. But yeah, he brings that energy to anything that he does, you know? His music, it's pure passion. The way he rides a bike and eats shit still is just, he loves it. It makes you want to go out and crash. You find yourself doing shit that you are like, I'm fucking gonna do this. Like I never thought I would even try this. Yeah. And you got John screaming at you. <laughs> He wanted to come to San Francisco to skate. And so he just jumped in my car and came down to San Francisco. And on this trip, I remember he had a Black Sabbath tape and a backpack in my trunk of my car. And we wanted to listen to it. And he's like, dude, pop the trunk. And we were driving like freeway speeds. So I popped the trunk, just like, duh, whatever, you know, what's gonna happen? And he's crawling out the passenger window. I'm trying to focus on the road. And I'm like, what are you fucking doing? I'm looking over at him and he's fully like halfway out of the car on the freeway, he finds the backpack with the Sabbath tape in the trunk, pulls it out, so excited, puts the black Sabbath tape in. I'm like, who the fuck is this? Straight out of the gate, like he came down off the fucking mountain, this weird snowboard kid with 
fucking way too much chewing tobacco in his mouth and way too much fucking energy. And he was unorthodox and just 110% on. He just ate handfuls of candy. And like ev everywhere he went, everybody was like, dude, have you seen this kid Cardiel? Have you seen this kid Cardiel? He was far ahead of yeah. the curve on the snowboarders. But his true love was skateboarding. And I saw him skating in the ramps. And I was like, You're, you got to skate for us. <laughs> Like, I think he just got an official box from Dogtown and he was gonna get an ad. And um, that's when Dogtown was in San Francisco. And they asked me to go shoot an, a photo of him for an ad. He ended up using this, um, this trick he made up called the Staying Alive. And it was like a slob, tail grab, one foot. And he did it off the extension and he was like, just doing like the splits in the air. John Lucero, Black Label Skateboards, Cardiel's second sponsor. Tell the story about the unreleased Black Label video that became right, the, spit, right, the right, Spitfire right. video. Yeah, yeah. Well, in uh, all of Black Label's glorious years, you know, always trying to make like a, a, a skate video, which we never really successfully did back then. So we were getting really close, and uh, I just never really put together a video, so it wasn't, we weren't really quite sure if it was good enough, if we had enough footage. And then someone up at Spitfire caught wind that I had a bunch of this footage of John, and uh, they asked if they could use that, and I just said, uh, fuck it, you know? Skateboarding is crazy, man. It's like every once in a while, somebody else will pop up that it just changes your whole view on it. And, um, and John came in and like, fucking blue doors. <laughs> You go street John, you can go fucking invert John, you can go 540 John, you can go any which way with the dude and he's gonna fucking do something radical and fucking blow your mind, make you laugh and fucking scream. He's a simple guy. But he's so complex, and he would not ever stop. He could never tell him and say, hey, look, dude, it's over. Board's broken, turn it backwards and try it over again. Trucks are fucked up, fuck, I don't care. Wheels and flat spots, I don't care. John Cardiel embodies the spirit of skateboarding. 